Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Classic. Neither of those companies exist anymore that made this game. That's pretty sad. Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty no- pretty old game. Yeah. LucasArts is gone now, so anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. Alright, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like this game? Uh, I'm very nostalgia. Nostalgia? Very nostalgic for this game. Good start, man. Very <laughs> nostalgic for this game. Uh, I love this game. Let's hope I still love this game when we're done. You're Octo. Yes, I am. You're Looney. That's right. Just turn on subtitles. I don't know. Uh... Oh, it's not a cutscene. Good. <laughs> there you go. It's a good thing that we were being quiet for nothing. We've got Mifuki hanging out in the back. Hey. There he is. What's cool about this is uh, we're playing this game on the Xbox 360. Yep. And it's actually upscaled. Yeah, it's upscaled to 720, and it has anti-aliasing going on, so things look a little less blocky. So that's nice. Yeah, you'll notice from the uh, intro video that things are much cleaner. Hopefully you'll notice. I mean, hopefully YouTube doesn't compress it to look basically the same. So, Looney, this video game... You bought this on a whim, right? Yeah, because I love Indiana Jones. Yeah. But I had never played it before. And I don't remember any promotional anything for this game. No, I don't either. You just came home one day with it. And I was like, okay. And it was really good. Oh my gosh, you already missed a treasure. Did I really? Oh my gosh. Run back and go to the left through the waterfall, man. How do you not know the treasures? This is not all treasure run. I just <sighs> want to show everyone. Look, it's even the tip. It's the tutorial secret area. There's not an alligator in here, is there? No. You always check behind waterfalls. Isn't that right? What is always, that? Always, always. It's it's an Emmy. <laughs> an Emmy, yeah, there you go. Alright. The Emmys. Is that the is that the guys? There's those Grammys. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's Grammys in the world. Are the, are the, uh, the gramophones? Oh, okay. What am I thinking of that are the the golden men? Emmys. Emmys? Okay. I thought Emmys were only for TV, though. Or am I wrong on that? It doesn't there's matter. A, there's a lot of rewards in the world of awards. So I was very happy with this game. Yeah, and me too. that's why I suggested this to Octo, because I wanted to share it with everybody. It's pretty special. <clears throat> it is pretty special. Water is your medkit, basically. Yeah. Up my canteen. So it's like... It's a Persia. Yeah. Except better, because you don't have to go to a fountain to refill your health. Uh, you have a canteen. You can find a bigger canteen. It's also nice. Yeah, and it's got all the classic Indiana Jones tropes know. and whatnot. Yeah. It's great. The other thing is, is that the voice actor is not Harrison Ford, but it is a really good uh, impersonation. Yeah, it sounds almost exactly like him. Yeah, it's true. Now, this game is, uh, I don't want to say old school hard, but it's like old school 3D platforming. So, you can totally miss a ledge that you shouldn't miss. Like, it doesn't look like you'll miss it, but you do. Yeah. And you'll just die. So, hopefully that doesn't happen too, too often. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just have to edit it down, which is not that big of a deal. Drop on that rock, man. I'm pretty sure if you hold the right trigger, which is like your block, and you walk off, yeah, he yeah, instantly drops to the shimmy. All right. So the reason I had to get that was so I could hack and slash for one reason. But the other reason is over here. The cut through these vines to continue. Yes. Also, it shows your little icon that you need the machete. Whenever they show an icon, sometimes they show a whip. Sometimes they show, like, grabbing something. This is one of my uh, favorite parts right here. Check this out. Yeah. Woo! So, like I was saying, when they show the, the little circle up there, you don't actually have to go through the inventory to select it. You just push the action button, which is why, and they will automatically, or he will automatically equip that weapon. That's which right. Which is good. Now, there's no checkpoints, really. No, it's this area by area, which is fine. You basically get a checkpoint every time there's a loading screen. 
which again is fine. There's some that are like ridiculous gauntlets. Yeah, That's what I remember. I have to say this game was solely responsible for creating a fear in me of crocodiles. Yeah. Are you also afraid of alligators or is yeah, it just oh specifically yeah. crocodiles? <laughs> Are you afraid of snakes? I mean, because they're uh, kind of the same thing, except one has legs and is nothing like a snake. They're so different. What are you talking about? They both have scales and teeth. <laughs> Octo's and crazy, everybody. Let's listen, listen to Octo's crazy man. <laughs> they have jaws. Okay. The fighting is also fun. Look they at both this. have eyes. You just throw them into a wall, catch them in an like, infinite loop of pounding. Ah. For whatever reason, guns uh, and machetes and stuff do significantly less damage than fists because you know it's a brawler so that's a thing all right also fall damage is surprisingly significant it for, is Som like, sometimes platformer. less than getting shot <laughs> yeah well getting shot is like nothing getting punched is is, is way more brutal and uh mm -hmm. Like, falling is the worst, by far. More so than anything. The other thing is, is your hat can fall off, and you're rewarded for basically picking it up. Not yeah, really well, rewarded, I, but I mean... It's Indiana Jones. Who, who is Indiana Jones without his hat? You have to have... It's the same as, hat. like, you don't... Mario doesn't lose his hat. You lose your hat, you restart the level. It's just how it happens. You know what I mean? No, you don't. Yeah, you do. You get your hat back from the Vulture from in Super Mario 64. Yeah, if you want to play games that don't hold up well. <clears throat> <laughs> Whoa. I don't like Super Mario 64. I, okay. You I, like, like Mario I like 60? Super Mario 64. It just doesn't hold up. Because of the controller. Uh, what Dual about the remake? Perfect. What about the when oh, it was redone? On the DS? Yeah. That would be great if it was built for left-handed people. So no, it was, it's worse on the DS. Because yeah. I can't control it. Because I'm left-handed. Mario 64 was amazing, though. It, it was, yeah, it was super good, but the camera control is dumb. And I don't like it. If, if there was a, there was probably a mod to have a dual stick version. But that's probably. way better with two sticks. So, I wh love the why way. do you think those eyes are glowing? I don't know. Doing, I'm not going to stick around like to find out. A gemstone glowing all the time. Maybe it's a barrel. Well, if you play video games, you'll know it's the weak point of the temple. It's got to shoot you in the eye. Aha. But it's just the whip point. It's not a boss. That's what you think. No, that's what you think. I've played this game before. Alligator statue is not the boss. Is that the canteen? The bigger canteen? This is going to fall. Woo! Pretty significant No, this damage. is not the bigger canteen. but it... Oh, it's the, it's the mask. Okay. Yeah. So if you're low in health, you can just uh, drink a canteen with the A button. A not, button, not the jump button, which is B. <laughs> I was just, I was just testing it. I was just oh, checking the jump. I see. Yeah, I see. All right. And it does sound like uh, he's gonna have a heart attack because he's breathing heavy, but. Yeah. Well, I assure you, he's fine. The audio will also just randomly cut out sometimes. That's not our software. That's just the game. It just will start music and then stop. And there'll be a sound effect that'll just cut out randomly. That could be because this is kind of emulating. Yeah, it could be because it's technically on an emulator. But doesn't matter. Whatever. It's still fun. It's still good. People played Super Mario Brothers without any audio. People can play this without any audio. That looks a little oh, man, fishy. Oh man, cracked ground huh. and a whip thing. I'm gonna just hop wow. over that one. I wonder what they're trying to tell you. Huh. Woohoo! That's right. Indiana Jones style. So, what is the worst Indiana Jones movie and why? We're not counting Crystal oh. Skull. I was gonna say, Crystal Skull is the worst. We're not counting Crystal okay, Skull. Okay, well, uh, it would be... Temple of Doom was my least favorite, but I still enjoyed it. I know, I was just... Okay, I'm I was just, just saying, the people can't see you looking I know, at me and I'm discussing. Just, I'm just they need something taking to look a minute at. to... Just hey, look around. we just got done with Prince of Persia, where there was an achievement for that. Yeah, which didn't Which we pop. didn't we didn't, it didn't get. pop for whatever reason. I don't know why. We waited for a minute. It Is doesn't an achievement matter. for staying around? It's called, uh, take a minute to think. 
Yeah. <laughs> I see. Plus, it really bothers me. <laughs> I just stop. Yeah, it's... Well, yeah. I mean, we're putting a show just on stop. here. We're not having a mm. soda pop social. Let's see here. Okay, look, 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 everyone knows that the worst Indiana Jones movie... Outside of the non Indiana Jones movie, which is Temple, which is Crystal Skull, is Temple of Doom. Why? Because it has short run in it. It has uh, Mir not Miriam, the other lady in it, and it's just they just kind of drag the show down. You know. All right, I would, I would agree with that. But that's fair. I don't think anyone really likes Temple of Doom. So no, no. I mean, I think. I mean, as like an it. Indiana Jones movie. I think people do like it, just not as much as Last Crusade or the other one. So you're saying it's like the Return of the Jedi of the bunch? Yes. If um, I knew what that movie was. Return of the Jedi was what? awesome. Yeah, but uh, like the fandom thinks it's the worst of the original trilogy. All right. oh. It's Star Wars, man. Obviously, it's Jedi. Obviously. Episode 6. Um, okay, well then, we're down to two movies with Indiana Jones. Uh, the Last Crusade and... The Holy Grail? The whole, no, that's, that is the Holy Grail. And then the whatever the other one's called. I gotta go with the uh, Last Crusade with Sean Connery. Gosh, that's my favorite. What is the other one? They, that's my they, favorite one. They find the Ark of the Covenant. What's that called? I'm gonna let you. I can't remember it. Rack your brain. Oh. Um. Man, I have to talk about a noob over here. It's not. <laughs> it's not just the Lost Ark, is it? No, it's not. Don't make me Google it. What is it? I'm not gonna say. It's I will not, throw a pumpkin seed at you. I have a guest here. I can't speak. You, I'll you throw this pumpkin show. seed at you. No. Uh. Ah, you actually threw it. Okay, I'm gonna Google it. Okay. But the Last Crusade is my favorite, by far. Well, not by far. Look, anything. It's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the right. <laughs> yeah, I knew it wasn't Lost Ark. Crazy. There is Lost Ark <laughs> in the, the title. Too bad. Cause you were wrong. Uh. Just admit it. I was, yeah, okay, I was wrong, okay. but at least I was two-thirds correct. Yeah, but... Two-thirds correct. When you're, when you're wrong, it's not how you if you just apologize for okay. your wrongness. I don't need to apologize for my wrongness all the time. You misinformed our audience. No, I was Googling it. Goodness. I'm just having some difficulty here. You make that joke there, here. buddy? I'm having some difficulty You're going to make that joke? <laughs> Gotta okay. run straight at that thing. I would be done in real life. The there we go. The jumping can be very uh, tricky, like that. You can't jump at any angle. It has to be straight on. Yeah. Which is fine once you get used to it. I don't know, but... Octo. It seems awfully finicky. Octo. You seem awfully finicky. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see here. You better watch out or I'll make us Let's Play The Evil Within the entire way through. Uh... And then Dead Space 2. No. Uh... Isn't there a switch behind you? Oh yeah, yeah that opens you have to the, unlock door. the door. Calm down. Hey, I'm just, just you're calm the one that's waiting around. I'm just the one telling you where the switches are. You know what? I had a little trouble jumping to the ledges. Okay. Yeah. I was I a little think tired. Everyone saw. I that. hadn't had my coffee yet. You're literally drinking coffee right now. I. Uh, you're right. I am. Ow. That's right. Oh, pistol whip. Oh, now you're just playing with him. Yeah. Throw him into the water? Nope. Okay. So, just like enemies in Assassin's Creed and stuff, apparently all of these guys don't know how to swim other than Indy, so they instantly drown, which is great. It is, yeah. All right. But I think this is going to be the end of video one. All righty. Uh, where we are going to... Going to... That place! The loading, loading screen. screen! The loading screen! Awesome! See you guys next time!